let's talk about using the 100 chart to count coins. So using the 100 chart is a really good strategy to help you when you're first starting to count coins. Um, if you look at each of your coins and you determine how much they're worth, then you can put them on your 100 chart and then you can just easily count them. So let's start with the largest coin first, which is our quarter. So we know that a quarter is worth 25. So that's where we're gonna start. Then we're going to go to our next largest coin, which is the dime. And we have three dimes, all right? And I know on a hundreds chart, when I go down one, I'm adding 10. When I go up one, I'm subtracting 10, right? So if I have three dimes, I need to add three tens. So I'm gonna go down one, down two, down three. Now I'm at 55 cents. Then I go to my next largest coin, which are my nickels, and they are worth five cents each. And so I know when I count on the hundreds chart, if I go to the end, that's five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's one nickel. And then one, two, three, four, five. That's two nickels. So now I'm at 65 cents. And then I have one penny. One penny. So I just move one space to the, to the right. And I have 66 cents. Okay, another strategy is the Harry money. So if you want to check your answer, you could, let me erase all of this, you could come back in here and use your Harry money. One, two, three, four, five for my quarter, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Then my dimes, five, 10. So I know I need two hairs on each of my dimes. And then my nickels are one, five. And then my penny is just one. So then I would come back through and I would count all of my hairy money in total. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66. And that's a great way to check your answer. All right, let's do one more. Okay, if I look at the money that I have on this slide, so I'm going to write my coins in order from largest to smallest. I have three quarters, so I'm going to write those out. 25, 25, 25. Then I have one dime, 10. Then I have one nickel, five. And I have one penny. Okay, so now I'm going to look at my hundreds chart. I know that three quarters equals 75 cents. So that makes it easy. I'm going to go ahead and start at my 75 because I know that three quarters is 75 cents. Then I also know for my dime, if I go straight down one time, that's for my dime. So I'm going to mark these out. We've done our three quarters. Now we're going to do our dime. We're going to go down one time. 85 cents. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five to the right. 90 cents. And then one, 91 cents. 91 cents. And if you wanted to check again, just a great way to check is to come back through and do your hairy money. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then my dime is 2, 5, 10, my nickel is 1, 5, and our penny is only 1 cent. Then we come back through and we count by fives for all of our hairy money. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, and that is just one, 91 cents. So that's two strategies that you can use in one to find your answer and then check your answer. Hopefully this helps you a little bit with counting your money and giving you two different strategies to use or 
one strategy to use and one strategy to check your answer.